Hey everyone, I have a really exciting video for you now. I am going to teach you how to schedule a post. This is the moment you've been waiting for, right? This is why we use the scheduler. So of course, we are going to open Genius Scheduler and then we are going to go all the way down here to this icon, the little scheduler. You can tell by, by what the icon looks like. And we're gonna click here. The first thing you'll see is all of the scheduled posts you already have going out. But we want to create a new one, right? We're gonna create, we're gonna hit create new and it's going to take us to a separate window. And there's a lot of different criteria here you can choose from. There's a lot of amazing features and we're gonna walk through them. So the first thing you wanna do is select your content library. And this is important because, as I showed you in a previous video, in our content library, that's where we save posts, right? So by choosing the content library, it will populate the saved posts that we have within that category. So lead gen post, here's one of my saved lead gen posts, and I can actually still see the engagement here too, which is really, really cool. Okay, if you choose something that doesn't have anything saved, let's just say um, engagement post. I have a saved post, but let's just say I don't want to, to choose a saved post. I want to create something new altogether. That's totally okay, okay? So we are going to, we're gonna go back to lead generation and we're going to choose this saved post. We're gonna go down to select post types and this should match the content library. So this is in the content library as lead generation post. So we're going to choose lead generation post here. Remember how we talked about tags earlier? Yes, very important. So if you feel that this piece of content needs an additional tag, go ahead and select that here. And then my personal favorite feature, where to post. This is where you can choose as many destinations as you want. You are not limited here. I'm gonna choose those three. Of course, you want to give it a date and a time. And again, remember that this is in UTC time zone. Okay, all of our content is scheduled in UTC time zone. And it will tell you what that time is and what the time, what the conversion is in your time zone. So it does the conversion for you. And I don't know about you, but that is amazingly helpful for me. <laughs> so that's where you can find your conversion, easy peasy. And because we chose a saved post, it's going to auto populate the content here for me, which is incredibly helpful. All right, so this is us scheduling a post that is a saved post, okay? So all we do once we have all of our criteria set up is just simply click add. Post has been scheduled, awesome. So now I want to go back into the scheduler. You can see the 28th, our lead generation post is right here. And I just quickly wanna show you one more thing. We're gonna go back to the scheduler, create new, and now I wanna show you how to schedule a post that wasn't a saved post. It's just a totally new post that I'm writing here in the scheduler for the first time. Hmm, maybe I want it to be an ask post. All right, I know I haven't saved it, so I can bypass that. Select post type, I wanna keep it consistent, put ask post. Mm, I don't really think I need a tag for what I wanna type. I'm gonna go ahead and push this out to every destination. I'm gonna give it a date and a time. And then I'm going to type my post here. How many clients are you serving right now? I'm gonna add a background because this is fun. It's a short post, so I'm gonna add a fun background to really capture some more attention. Or you can also add a picture here. Upload images, you just click choose files, 
and then you navigate over to your picture and you add it just like that. Of course, we never want to choose a background and a picture at the same time because that will not work with Facebook. So I chose my background. I have this written out. And just so you know, you also have this little formatter here. So if you ever wanna bold or italicize or strike through, you have all of these options right here, along with emojis. You can get really fun and creative with it. Okay, so I am going to add this post. Post has been scheduled. We're gonna pop back over to the Genius Scheduler just to make sure, and boom, there it is, Ask Post. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't need that to go out. And boom. I'm also going to edit this one here. Just to recap, quick edit. All right, all looks good to me. Click update, we're good to go. So now, now you know how to schedule two different types of content onto your scheduler right here. All right, good luck and happy scheduling.